this is Jessica McKay with your Love and Relationship reading for July. I'm using two different decks for this reading. I am using the Healing Angel cards and I'm using the good old Cosmic Tarot, which I use frequently when I do readings for clients. So take a moment and just connect in with yourself, connect with your spirit guides and ask which message is most appropriate for you today? Message number one, number two, or number three? And of course you can choose more than one. Just see which resonates with you and trust that. So, if you chose message number one, the first card that came up was love. And it says, the heart of love is the heart of creation. All is possible through love. All is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth. So um, the heart of love is the heart of creation. Basically, your nature is love. You came here as love. But so many of us forget that in our childhood when we have difficult experiences and we're rejected for being who we are. We forget that we are love and we think that love exists outside of us as something that we need to be good enough to get, as something that we need to bargain for. Um, so this card is a reminder that you are the source of love in your life. And that doesn't mean that you won't have amazing relationships. It just means that when you acknowledge that you are the source of love in your life, you stop viewing love as something that exists outside of you that you need to um, be good enough to receive. And it just makes everything in your life richer and uh, more nurturing. So um, I chose a card also to go with this from the Cosmic Tarot and it's the Ten of Cups. And in this picture you see a woman who is sitting, looking sort of off in the distance, but she's surrounded by these overflowing cups, overflowing with love. Um, the cups in the tarot are traditionally about emotions and about our feelings and relationships. So it's almost like there's a lot of love in this woman's life, but she doesn't notice it. She's not aware of it. So it really does resonate with this love card where you're being given the reminder that you are that source of love. And when you start noticing that fountain, and these are all, these cups are like fountains that are overflowing. That's you. Your nature is like a fountain that bubbles up the love that emanates from who you are, from what you are, emanates and, and bubbles over when you become aware of it, when you remember who you really are, which is divinity, it's perfection, it's love, it's life. That's who you really are. And when you remember that, you begin seeing it in your world. You begin seeing all the love that's around you. As you become more aware of that, you will start attracting into your life more mirrors that reflect the love that you are. So you'll have people coming into your life who emanate that as well. So that's message number one. And if you chose message number two, the card that came up was Harmony. And it says, it talks about disharmony. And it says, disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. So is there something that you have been resisting? Is there a cycle or something coming to completion in your life that you feel um, that you have wanted to hold on to? And that could be a relationship. It could be a relationship that you've been in for a while that you feel is shifting and you're not sure that you want to let it go because you're facing the unknown. 
or this may not even be about a particular person or a particular relationship. It might be about how you relate, how you show up in relationship. That might be changing and it might feel really uncomfortable because you've never been any other way. Um, and the card that I pulled uh, from the Cosmic Tarot, the card that came up was death. So this really is the same thing. Death is almost never about actual physical death. It's really about transformation. It's about change. It's about one cycle moving away and another cycle coming in. So for you, there's something that you are letting go of right now and it might feel hard to do and that's when things don't feel harmonious is when you're not going with the flow so this does not mean that you need to give up any dreams that you've had you may not have the dream exactly the way you are seeing it but you still will have harmony and closeness and love in your life so i hope that makes sense so that's message number two. And if you chose message number three, you got Archangel Gabriel. And it says, you will soon receive some positive news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. And that can be so challenging for us to speak the truth, to, um, to put the truth first before a relationship. Uh, but what this is really saying is that it's safe for you to do that. Um, when you speak your truth, you allow yourself to be vulnerable and then you give somebody else permission to be vulnerable as well. And you're both able to put your cards on the table. And the card that came up with that from the tarot is the Three of Cups. And this is a really beautiful card. It's a couple that look like they're dancing and they're, um, they're really in harmony with each other. So, um, this is about exercising that that ability you have of being you, um, of not being afraid to be yourself. It's safe to be you. You're not going to frighten anyone away by being you, and if you do, it means they're not the right partner for you. You can always go by that. If you say something or do something and somebody walks out of your life, they just are not the right one. The right one for you is the one who is able to take your truth in, listen to it, give you back theirs, and the two of you dance together and create a relationship based on that sacred truth and that ability to be vulnerable and that ability to be seen by your partner. So um, this is a really encouraging message. So I hope that these messages were helpful. If they were, please let me know in the comments. And I will see you again next time.